2024's meeting. I'd like to, to wish everyone a happy new year. Tonight's agenda was a fairly short agenda. We had some things on there that we wanted to not do at our special meeting, or our last meeting that we have at, at 12 o'clock. We wanted to uh, allow the people to have uh, time to come in and have input on our council meeting. But we had a few small, uh, some road abandonment issues that was approved to uh, abandon roads and had a couple, we abandoned a few and then we added a few uh, for some subdivisions. And while we're on the road issue, we actually, uh, Council decided tonight on third reading to move forward with allowing the public or the citizens of Anderson County uh, to vote whether they want a penny sales tax uh, to pass at the next uh, election coming up for our roads. And what, one thing I'd like to clear up, and I've, I've heard rumors and, and things being brought up is, you know, they talk about the uh, state, the gas tax money, uh, the gas tax money and it goes for state roads and and I think uh, Mr. Elton said something tonight when when you see a road sign you always look for on the sign and have the name of the sign there'll be a C for a county road, a S for a state road or a P for a private road so uh, the gas tax money you can go online at SCDOT and it will show South Carolina's a, a good sized state with a lot of roads so you can see where that gas tax money is being spent. Uh, some of the tax money ha has come and is coming through Anderson to Anderson County uh, doing some state roads here. But primarily what we're talking about on our, our penny tax or our, our tax deal was so here in Anderson County, we have 1,534 miles of county road that we have to maintain. We have 163 bridges. You have guardrails, ditching, intersections, unsafe intersections. So this tax would actually generate approximately 50, 51 million dollars a year to be utilized or to be spent on roads, bridges, guardrails, intersections, things of that nature. The way that, that it will be on the agenda, they had two alternatives. One was a capital tax. And then actually we have out of 46 counties, 42 counties have some form of what we're discussing now in place to help maintain roads. Well, it's a safety issue yeah, um, yeah, yeah. For, what was that? for EMS. It's also a, um, an issue of uh, a cost for drivers for tires and alignment and all kinds of other things. Yeah, and, then, and the thing too is what I want people to understand and I wanted to make sure that, you know, as a council, we're not voting for a tax. We're voting to allow the people to decide what they want. And I don't know, um, you know, I hear people, oh, we can, you know, find some money in the budget. But I think a, a lot of people, uh, unless you actually sit down in a finance committee meeting during budget time and actually see how county money is being spent uh, out of our county budget, just the sheriff's department alone is 41 percent of the county budget. And with the excess amount of county roads that we have on top of all the other services we provide, I do not and I, I don't see how the county can paved roads. And you're chairman of the finance committee. I'm chairman so. of the finance committee and I welcome anyone to, to come in. Our, our meetings are published. They're open to the public to come in. Anyone that wants a copy of our budget, we're more than happy to, to share that. The The other thing is, you know, we've looked at and, and council looked into a, a road fee or a vehicle fee and, you know, at a million dollars a mile to pave road, a road fee, it's, it's not going to do anything to make a dent in, in our road situation. Plus, it's, it's just going to upset people. And it's I mean, also only our citizens get hit with that, not the people who come and use our Exactly. Roads. And then if you own multiple vehicles and then you throw in a motorcycle, a boat, or RV, you're paying more than your neighbor with two cars. So I think the, uh, the penny tax, anyone that's out and about, everyone is paying that share or their, their percentage or their part of it. I've also had someone ask me or say that, um, oh, well, we're paying 100% of that tax. Actually, studies shown, and I think the studies were at, in Anderson County, our studies were actually higher, 30 to 35% of the money generated is from out of county and out of state 
users. So, I think the most recent one's 35 point something is they just did a new one in the December. Okay, yeah, so you've got, I'd rather um, know that I, I was paying 100% on 70 or $65 than 100% of $100. So the other option they had, you know, people uh, keep saying, oh, our taxes have gone up. I've been on council five years and we all, we've never had a tax increase. I've been chairman of the finance committee for four of those five. No tax increase has ever been voted on. We actually had a millage decrease. And I think what people, when they think their taxes went up, you know, you have separate departments, you have, uh, we have different, different departments, different positions. Anderson County has not raised taxes. Now you have your assessor's office that is an elected position. Your taxes is based on a millage rate. Well, our millage rate has not increased. Now, every so often, so many years, the assessor's office will come in and they will reevaluate your property, your home, and say, hey, you know, your home's, you know, it's worth more than the $100,000 now. We value it at 110. Now, that may make your tax increase, but county council has not raised millage, and that's a, a whole separate department that is elected department that handles those things. So, yeah, and this still here on our road tax, it is, uh, like I said, it'll be voted on. Every dime has to be spent on roads. Basically, this, basically, this uh, tax will last seven years. It'll generate $333 million towards our roads. Our roads are categorized from A being a newly paved, top of the line, best road, safe, all safety issues addressed to D being the worst possible road. And I know a lot of people, you'll see some paving going on. You're like, man, there's a road's a lot worse than this being paved. Well, the reason being is if you have a million dollars to pave, you want to pave that B and C road because you can get a little further out with the paving. And if you take a D road, you're liable to, you know, it has to have new gravel, everything be dug up, everything redone. So basically now, you know, instead of getting a, a mile of road paved, we're getting a, a quarter of a mile paved. So in order to keep our good roads from falling into that category, costing the taxpayers more money, the county's sort of in catch up mode and trying to just maintain what we have. And, and there's three, the, the study so far, the initial things, 380 miles of county roads that are either poor or failing already. And the county's never had a, a, an instrument to pay, take care of roads in its history, not in the history of county governance has there been any instrument to, specifically to take care of roads. That's how we got here. Exactly, and there is a, a great article, I think, Greg, I think you actually wrote it in the Anderson Observer, and it actually, uh, which I read, it goes back to prior to home rule days, and it, it really breaks down and shows uh, the process and how we are where we are today, and I think, um, you know, our roads is actually the county's number one asset, and we have to protect that asset. And it, the more we neglect it, I, I wish I, I knew the exact answers, but I don't, you can't raise taxes or millage high enough to fix the problem. And, you know, a lot of people, like I said earlier, complain about taxes, but, you know, South Carolina has some of the lowest taxes in the United States. And that's why when you drive down the road, you look, you see all these out-of-state tax from people moving into our county. As they move in, it puts a, a larger stress on our roads. You have all the industry and jobs that we've been creating through economic development. So that's going to be tied to roads. The better our road system is, the more um, safety issues that's an address, interstates, intersections, I mean not interstates, but interchanges, things like that that, that are brought up to 2024 standards is also going to impact, you know, your property value on your home. It's going to uh, put less wear and tear on your vehicle. It's going to be safer for your, your son or daughter or grandchildren out driving on some back road at, in the middle of the night without guardrails or, you know, our, our bridge systems. I mean, it, it is a substantial amount of money. And at this tax or penny tax as you know, my concern was if it is something we, we give to the voters, I wanted to make 100% sure that every dime is spent on our roads. And it's set up that way to protect them. It's audited 
once a year from uh, an outside audit. Uh, so I think, you know, it's up to the people. And as, as a council person and representing uh, District 4 and working with my other council members, I don't see the answer, you know, other than trying to think outside the box or, or move it in a direction to where, you know, it's, it's up to the people. The money's, it can be generated. 35% of it's from out of county, out of state people. So our road's an investment and we've got to invest in it. And uh, if the people don't like it or don't want to vote for it, hey, vote no. And we'll have to try to figure something else out or just keep traveling down the same path in the next generation the one before that it's just going to cost more and more money so that's basically where we are and also you know on, on our road system uh, matt hogan who is over our roads and bridges uh, they're doing a great job with the resources that they have they're doing such a good job that they were recognized as one of the top or the top roads and bridges manager in roads and bridges department in the state of south carolina so we have competent, qualified employees and, and supervisors and department heads that, that know what they're doing. It, it's just a matter of, of giving them the tools they need to complete this project. I know that's what was a, a lot of information. Uh, anyone that would like more information, uh, feel free to reach out to the county and call me directly. Um, again, it's I'm happy that 2024 is here. We had a great year last year. And just want everyone to, to know that uh, everyone's here and working hard for you.